All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, w- w- let's start with uh, the the breaking news. It's it's happening as we speak. Um, Thirteen. Uh, 13 Israelis have just been released by Hamas, and they just actually they just arrived in Israel. So uh, congratulations to them, of course, and to their families, and to everybody who's been worried sick about them for for the last uh, month and a half. Um, I mean, there's a big sigh of relief to see to see these people uh, back home. Uh, unfortunately, some of them are back home. Uh, with no family because uh, the family is, was murdered on October 7th. Um, uh, in addition to 13 Israelis, uh, 10 uh, citizens of Thailand and one citizen of the Philippines. Uh, no break, I haven't seen any breakdown on men, women, ages and stuff, but these are, uh, these are uh, guest workers in Israel uh, that were working uh, in, uh, in the south of Israel and were taking hostage, by the way, about... I think it was 36 Thai citizens were murdered on October 7th, uh, just in this orgy of, of, of slaughter and, and mayhem and barbarism that took place. It, it wasn't even just Jews who got killed. It was anybody who worked for Jews, including Arabs, Muslims, a number of uh, Muslims who, who uh, were, were there, happened to be there, were working there uh, in just communities were killed on October 7th. Um, of, the, of the 13 that were released, um, let's see, five of them are, are older women, uh, ranging in ages I see here from 72 to 85, uh, which is surprising because I thought it would be mainly children and mothers, but it looks like they decided maybe it's just easier for them to, older, older people, less medical care, Less hassle for them. I don't know, but but anyway, we got uh, uh, no seventy eight to eighty five. Uh, uh, so uh, seventy two to eighty five. So seventy two to eighty five year olds. Um, six of them were released. We had four children. Uh, one of them age two. Another one age four. Uh, together with what looks like their mother, age thirty four, and then uh, uh, a a girl uh, age six uh, who was released with her mother. Uh, age 45, and another boy, age nine, released with his mother, uh, 54. Um, I mean, just give you a sense of of who was kidnapped, right? I mean, uh, they, they literally took babies, uh, two-year-olds. We're still waiting, I guess, for the baby. There's a nine-month-old or, uh, it, to, to be released. Maybe that'll be tomorrow or the day after. Uh, this is just the first batch of uh, hostages to, to be released. There will be more over the next few days, a, a total supposedly over the four days of 50, uh, with potentially more after that. Israel uh, has released, I think, 39 um, women and uh, teenagers um, a, a, as, as part of this, and they, they're releasing them to families in primarily the West Bank. Uh, I, think, uh, I think, again, as we speak, that is happening. Um, Ed reminds me there's a baby born in captivity. Where's that baby? Um, Hamas is just drawing them out, uh, drawing this out. It gives them more uh, cards. It gives them... Um, and, and by the way, the Thai citizens that were released is primarily a result of uh, the Thai government uh, uh, negotiating heavily and really from October 8th, I think, with the Iranian government, right? Uh, with the Iranian government, I don't know if Thai, Thailand has any leverage on Iran. I just I have no idea what is going on there. But uh, the Thai government it went directly to the Iranian government to negotiate this. So there's a lot of um, Thai families that must be super relieved. Uh, you know, it, it, most of these captives were probably uh, women. Uh, you know, and, and and probably young, relatively young in their 20s. Who come to Israel and 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 work and send money home, um, and there's still I think there's still twenty plus more Thai citizens and maybe others from the from from Southeast Asia who are still being held by Hamas. So this was just again a first batch, um, and uh, you know you got to feel just a horror of 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 those families in Thailand as well. As, uh, as the families in Israel who still haven't had uh, their 
loved ones released. Uh, what else is there? We got a ceasefire. It'll go on for four days. So far, the ceasefire is holding. I think Hamas will hold the ceasefire. I don't think they'll violate it. They've got every incentive, uh, basically, to, uh, to do this. It's an opportunity for them to regroup, to get a breather. A lot of supplies are coming in to Gaza. Hundreds of vehicles with supplies are bringing in supplies into Gaza. One wonders how many of them also smuggling weapons. But certainly, uh, they, the Hamas fighters themselves could benefit from the food and, and the, uh, the, the, uh, the oil and everything else that's being brought in. Maybe, maybe they'll even let some of the other Gazan civilians get some of uh, those. Uh, so they will have four days to regroup. There is the potential that this will drag out for longer, and I'm going to guess that it will drag out for longer because Hamas have a clear incentive to drag, the bus, drag this out as long as they can. Um, if, if Hamas releases 10 prisoners every day, 10 hostages every day, Israel is committed to, uh, to extending one day for every 10 that's being released. My guess is Hamas will do w whatever it can to extend this as long as possible. Uh, Hamas is... Uh, Hamas wants this to stop. They, 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 they want uh, Israel to basically give in. They want a, quote, negotiated settlement. They want to be perceived as the bringers of peace. Uh, and uh, they have every incentive to, con to, to continue uh, to drag out the ceasefire as long as possible. Also, they know, as I know, as you know, as everybody in the world knows, but the Israeli government denies, uh, the ceasefire is, giving, is slowing the Israeli military's momentum. It reduces the probability that the job will get done ever or at least in this round, and, uh, and it, again, uh, gives Hamas a, a, an opportunity to regroup and to set more booby, booby traps, and, and uh, ultimately, the cost of the ceasefire will be in the lives of Israeli soldiers in the weeks and months uh, to come, days and weeks to come. All right, um, uh, so, so I, I've talked about the ceasefire before, so I, there's no point in me repeating too much of what I think about this moral Travesty, my focus here is primarily on, look, in spite of the moral travesty, we have to all recognize, and I recognize, that, that it is wonderful that these people got to be freed from the clutches of Hamas. It is wonderful that they got to be reunited with their families. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, you, you cannot but be happy for them, even, while, even whilst realizing that strategically... <laughs> Having the ceasefire and releasing these hostages is an unmitigated disaster.